out here at Blee Tarn. It's 4am in the morning and I thought I'd be the only one but turns out I'm not and I've got my new camera. I've got my new camera there. I've got Jazzy over there. And it's absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm trying to take a few pictures to uh, practice my landscape photography so we'll get a few pictures and then we'll start heading up we're doing Pike of Lisco today so we're doing Pike of Lisco via Rhinos Fell I'm going to go up Rhinos and cross the summit of Pike of Lisco and then we're going to come down via Brownie Gill. Apparently, there's a little waterfall there. I just remembered why I love the Langdales. Now my view ranger app has actually um, when I plotted the route there's actually no path there where I was meant to go so we've had to make it back out onto the road and then I think we might be able to go up this way looks like there's a bit of a path up here Yeah, they're just chilling up a mountain. There he is. Just chilling up a mountain. We're very nearly at the top. There's only a little bit to go, but I don't know if you can see at the back of me. Some cloud inversions. Look at that. That's beautiful. Stunning. We've missed the sunrise because I think it was a bit cloudy. So we've not seen the full potential of the sun coming up. Which is a shame, but Nevertheless, we're having a nice walk. Summit of Pike of Blisco. to the summit Bike of Blisco New beauty So here you've got Side Pike and Lingmore Fell running along there then we pan round and we have you can just see there that is Stickle Tarn. You see there, that's Stickle Tarn. 
then you've got Paviac behind there that's Paviac and then that's Harrison Stickle and then here you've got Loft Crag Piker Stickle so there is Rosset Pike this in the background is Glaramara up here is Bowfell which we attempted earlier in the year carrying round and there you've got the crinkle crags here like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here most of the way is like stepping stones so it's quite easy to get down and then you come down onto this gravel track and then looks like we've got a crossroads here and we're heading down this way down Brownie Gill I think I found a little waterfall a bit. Look at that. Now I plan on doing all the Wainwrights. There's 214 in total and this is my number 15. So 199 left to go. So I made it down to the river, had a quick wash in the river as well because it's really warm now. Just following the farm track back now, we're coming up to the place where you get on, known as the Band, which takes you up to the summit of Bowfell and you can do the Crinkle Crags that way as well. And that's known as the Band. It's a welcomed relief to be walking on flat again. <laughs> Gets a bit monotonous walking down the, uh, the hill. Your legs start to ache and it's hard going on your knees. And then you get back on tarmac and it's like, oh, it's lovely. Welcome site. Yeah. Jazz is pooped out, yeah. Poop jazz. <laughs> 